This is a repair and maintenance video for the general pump model MWSR. Before starting, you will need the cylinder removal kit F2763200. The tools from this kit that you will need are a packing cylinder removal kit with handle, support pins, a 2 inch piece of PVC pipe approximately 12 inches long, a ratchet with extension, a 17 millimeter socket, an 8 millimeter and 5 millimeter hex drive, a rubber mallet, a flathead screwdriver, needle nose pliers, a round head tool, a pick, an impact wrench with a 14 millimeter hex drive, packing lubricant, a torque wrench, and an adjustable wrench. First remove the upper outer two manifold retaining bolts. After removing these bolts, insert the two long positioning pins. Once the pins are securely in place, remove the remaining retaining bolts. Slide the manifold out slowly and carefully, paying attention to the spring-loaded packing supports as they may fall out. Remove the support pins. Use the ratchet and a 17 millimeter socket to remove the plunger retaining bolt. Remove the plunger. At times, the packings may remain on the plunger. On top, remove two 5 millimeter bolts from the crankcase access cover. Rotate the crankshaft to position the piston guide to its rearmost position of the crankcase. Be sure to allow room for the packing pusher tool. Insert the packing pusher tool and rest it on the shoulder of the piston guide. Install the packing pusher tool. Remove the handle. Rotate the crankshaft, which will push the sleeve out of the crankcase. Remove the O-ring and the slinger washer. Disassemble the packing support unit. Be very careful to not damage the sleeve itself. Inspect the sleeve at the seal mating surface for any pitting or other damage. Reinstall the low pressure seal. Be sure to respect its orientation. Reinstall the head ring. Reinstall the plastic ring. Reinstall the three rope seals so the break in the seals do not align. Insert the first rope seal, then rotate the component one quarter turn. Insert the second rope seal, then rotate another quarter turn. Insert the third and final rope seal.
reinstall the plastic washer and the stainless steel washer. Reinstall the slinger washer. It should be installed onto the shoulder of the piston guide. Apply packing lubricant on the inside corner of the crankcase. This helps to support the O-ring and keep it in place. Reinstall the O-ring and be sure it is properly seated in the corner of the crankcase. Inspect all of the plungers for cracks, pitting, or scoring, and replace if necessary. Reinstall the plunger onto the guide. Reinstall the plunger bolt. Note that the washer should be replaced each time it is removed. Torque the plunger using the torque specs which can also be found on page 52 of the repair manual. Hold the complete packing assembly and apply lubricant to the low pressure seal the high pressure seal, and the rest of the component. This will help the packing assembly easily slide over the plunger. Using the piece of PVC pipe, carefully tap it over the plunger until it is fully seated into the crankcase. Wipe any excess lubricant from the plunger. Remove the crossover O-ring and inspect for fraying or damage. Check to ensure the crossover opening is not obstructed. Reinsert the crossover O-ring. Insert the long support pins to the outermost upper holes. Place the manifold onto the two support pins, but do not push the manifold all the way back into position. Apply lubricant to the top of each plunger. This will help keep the springs in position when you reapply the manifold. This is a spacer plate for the packing support. Inspect each one for any damage. Inspect the O-ring for damage. Replace it to the back side of the manifold. Slide the manifold back into position. Insert two bolts, one on the top row and the other on the bottom row diagonally across from each other. Tighten each bolt at intervals starting with the inside bolts. This will pull the manifold back into proper position. Remove the support pins. Reinstall the remaining bolts. These bolts should be torqued in a sequence starting with the middle bolts and working around in a circular pattern. Use the proper torque specs which can also be found on page 52 of the repair manual. Reinstall the crankcase access panel and torque the two 5mm <coughs> bolts according to specs. Use the proper torque specs, which can also be found on page 52 of the repair manual.